This is the third video in a series of videos showing how you can deploy a spine and leaf OSPF based fabric using NetEdit and CX switches. To this point we've already configured the spine and the leaf plans, but let's go ahead and configure with the next plan where we actually configure the fabric configuration on the leaves. So this is what's going to enable the OSPF and the rack to rack routing communication within this fabric. So when we jump into NetEdit, Again, we'll go into the Devices screen and choose all of the leafs that we want to put this configuration on. And then, of course, we'll choose Edit Running Configuration. We'll give it a name. So let's go ahead, just like we did on the Spine Plan, and start off with configuring the basic OS router OSPF configuration by adding the router OSPF 1 and then enabling area 0. And then of course let's start configuring our interfaces. So we're going to have our uplink interfaces that we got to configure. It's going to be interfaces 1, 149, and 50. We're going to configure them just like the standard configuration that we did on the spine switches, no shutdown, large MTU sizes. Uh, friendly descriptions, so 1149 on these leaf switches will be going to spine 1, so that's a common variable. And then of course we'll add the IP addresses which will be different of course on each of these leaf switches. Go ahead and get the OSPF configuration added to this interface. And of course, these are point to point, so let's get that in there too. And then we'll finish up configuring the interface by modifying the IP addresses. And just like with the spines, these are going to be common on our leaf uh, fabric facing interfaces. So it's really easy to just create a new interface and just paste in this existing configuration and make the, the, the modifications needed. Okay, so we've got the IP addresses configured on our fabric face and interfaces. Let's go ahead and click validate. Make sure this is a proper configuration. And it looks like it is, so let's go ahead and deploy this. Once it's deployed, we'll, we'll go ahead and take a look at the change validation screens to make sure everything worked as I expected. If not, the beauty of NetEdit is we can simply just click rollback and we'll roll back to the previous configuration. So now let's go ahead and choose change validation give it a quick refresh so we can make sure we have the updated tables here. We can see on the left anything that's changed will be highlighted in green so show interface uh, show interface brief on leaf 2b we can see the fabric face and interfaces are up 49 and 50. We can look at our OSPF neighbors and this is a great example. We can see one is in a loading state. So let me go ahead and click refresh again. And we can get an updated uh, view of the post-deployment uh, status of the environment. And of course, now we can see that it's in a full state. If we go down and look at 1B, we can see that the OSPF neighbor relationships are up. So the interfaces are up. So everything looks good. So let's go ahead and click uh, finish this configuration and click commit.